ladies and gentlemen, the man who bends reality, Max Maven. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin, I must make a small confession. You see, I'm a thief. No, it's not what you're thinking. I don't break into your home and steal your television set. I break into your mind and steal your thoughts. Together this evening, we're going to explore some psychological mysteries. And I'll be working, of course, with people from the studio audience, none of whom I have met before, none of whom I have arranged any specific thing with. And to start things off, I'd like to try something with a deck of playing cards. Now, as you all know, there are 52 different cards in a deck, and they can be used for various types of magic tricks. However, what I propose to do right now is not a magic trick. I'm going to take a rubber band, place it around the deck. I will toss the deck to someone in the audience. That person will kindly stand up in his or her seat, stand up at that place, hold the deck on their left hand, then reach out with the right thumb, pull up the deck, and peek at one card. Please don't look at more than one. I want a single card in your mind. And I'm going to toss the deck. Whoever it uh, lands nearest, would they kindly stand up? That's all right. Pick it up. Hold the deck face down in your left hand. Stand up if you would. We didn't set this up, did we? We've never met before. Is that true? Fine. With your right hand, if you would just peek at a card, did you get one? Mm -hmm. Good. Would you toss the deck to someone else in the audience? It doesn't have to be anybody you know, just any person, and whoever catches the deck will kindly stand up. Oh, someone caught it. The oldest person near it. How about you? Would you take the deck in your left hand, please? Face down, just peek at one card, if you'd be so kind as to do that now. Tell me when you've done that. You've got a card in mind. If you'd toss it to any other person in the audience right now, near or far, oh, down at the end of the row, if you would stand up, please. And peek at one card. Did you get one? Fine. Toss the deck back to me. Good toss. <laughs> if I might have those uh, three participants stand up again, all three of you, if you would. Fine. Each of you is now thinking of a playing card. You've got one in mind, and you, and also you. If the three of you would look right here and think of nothing but that card that is in your mind, the card you saw, the card you saw, and the card you saw, I will attempt to tell you the names of those three cards. Now, if I'm wrong, please say so. But if I'm correct, you will indicate that by sitting down. Fair enough? Right here. The two of spades, the six of hearts, the four of diamonds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just about 15 minutes ago, before I came out here, uh, it was asked that two people volunteer to assist me in something that I was going to do up here. Other than the fact that they have volunteered to come up, they don't know what is going to happen. I have not met them prior to this moment. Would those two, two people please join me right now and give them a round of applause for their volunteer. If you stand over here, sir. What is uh, your name, please? Helen. Helen, it's nice to meet you. My name is Max. And yours, sir? Wolf. Wolf, nice to meet you as well. Wolf, there's a deck of cards in front of you. Helen, we've got this deck right here that we just used a moment ago. Helen, if you would take the rubber bands uh, off of the deck, and Wolf, if you would just hold on to that for a moment. Hold the deck face down for just a moment, Helen. I'll explain what we're about to do. Wolf is holding on to a deck of playing cards, and there is a piece of paper wrapped around the deck and a rubber band around everything, and I won't touch them again. You've got your hands on them, and they'll stay that way. You've got the other deck of cards, and what I'd like you to do is to deal those cards into a pile on the table, Helen, face down. One on top of the other from any part of the deck you wish. You can deal from the top or the center or the bottom. And at any time, you may stop dealing so that it's a totally random procedure. Tell me when you're satisfied. 
Now, you're satisfied that's a random assortment of cards. All right. Helen, if you would uh, pick up the cards you just dealt, I'll take the others away. Will you agree that those are a random assortment of cards? You could have had any of these. Yes. In that case, I have been fair up to now. Yes. Thank you. If you would take those cards and deal them face down as if you were playing a game of poker or gin or something into two hands face down. Just two piles face down, that's correct. Obviously, I play a lot of cards. All right. <laughs> And in so doing, Helen, you have arrived at two cards. The top card of that pile, the top card of that pile, drawn from the top, the center, and the bottom of the deck. A random assortment of cards. And now again, randomly, you've arrived at two cards. Turn over the top card of that pile. The queen of clubs. And the top card of that pile. The nine of diamonds. Now, Helen, you'll agree that arriving at those two cards was a totally random procedure. I was standing over here. I couldn't have made you arrive at those two cards. We left it up to chance. Now comes the conscious decision-making factor that I'm depending on. You're going to choose one of those cards, not randomly, but quite conscientiously. And I want you to decide which of those cards you want to use, the Nine of Diamonds or the Queen of Clubs. Which one? Am I to tell you? It makes it easier. <laughs> the nine of diamonds, you're sure? Yes. Fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen has selected a card from the deck, and I think you will all agree that the selection procedure involved, through a combination of random actions and a conscious decision, was totally fair and uninfluenced by me. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Wolf, you're holding on to another deck of playing cards, and there's a note wrapped around it. Would you be so kind as to take the rubber band off Open the note and look at it. I will read it aloud from memory. Please verify that it says what I'm saying. <coughs> it should say, Earlier today, I had an intuitive sense about one playing card. So sure was I of my accuracy that I took a marking pen and drew a large X across that one card. Is that what the note says? Yeah. Right. Therefore, if the note is true, there should be a single card in that deck which has an X across its face. Nice and bold, dark black marking pen. If you would take the cards face up and deal through them on the table, let everybody see, <coughs> we'll find the card. There is a card with an X. It is Nine the Nine of Diamonds. And I thank you. The unbelievable Max Maven, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Good night, everybody.